Okay, we made some progress in that last video. We lit the back of this arrow appropriately. Let me let me draw our light source right here. The top of this arrow looks good. The top of this plane looks good. That all looks consistent. With the lights here, I would expect the back of this arrow to be lit, and this is lit, and that lit. that looks good. The top of the arrow is dark. We rectified all that in the previous video. In this video, I want to do something else. Let's rotate our arrow. In the last video, all we did was a translate. I want to do a rotate and see if the lighting's consistent before I run this. Pause the video and think. Is it going to be consistent? What's going to be the result? What's it going to look like? I said pause the video. Did you pause the video? Let me fly over here. And we'll take a look at that other arrow before I look up. Here we go. Okay, does that look consistent? Is that correct? Why or why not? I highly encourage you to figure out why or why not before allowing this con to continue. We still have the correct vertex position. The origin of the world is roughly right here. So the vertex position for this vertex right here is that vector shortened a little bit. That's the position vertex. We're getting that position, that model to world transformation matrix. We're applying that to our vertex and getting that position. So when we take our light vector, we'll say the light's Oh, I guess that the light is right about here. When we take our light vector, subtract that position from our light vector, that gives us this vector. Yeah, we talked about that in those previous videos. And, of course, we normalize that and then dot that with the surface normal. So we actually don't have a problem when it comes to the vertex position. We solve that problem. What I want to talk about is the surface normals. Okay, the surface normals in this case, we'll do the ones that are straight up off the top of the arrow. We have one like this and one like this. I showed you all the surface normals in previous videos. There's surface normals for every vertex coming straight up like that. And then off the back of the arrow, we have surface normals like this and surface normals like this. Like that off the back of the arrow head, there's ones like this. And then off the top of the arrow head, they go like this and like this and like this. And then underneath the plane we have the same thing going on. The problem is when we calculate our lighting for any of these vertices we're using these exact same surface normals. For example this vertex right here corresponds to this vertex right here. They're the same vertices. It's just this one's transformed. Uh, but the surface normal is still going that direction. Okay, and the surface normal for this one going that direction. That direction. That direction. Uh, well more like that. Our surface normals are still messed up. These red surface normals correspond to these surface normals. I would expect the red surface normals for the back of the arrow, instead of pointing this way, I would expect them to point this way, because that would be normal to the surface right here. But we're not doing anything with the surface normals. We're leaving the surface normals alone, and so they're still pointing this direction, straight out of the back of the arrow in this orientation. And so when we take those surface normals, and we dot them with our light vector. We'll say that's our light vector pointing roughly at our light right here. And if I was doing this correctly, they'd both be the same length, the length of one. When I dot those two, the cosine of that angle is going to be pretty much one. And so we get this nice, bright surface that will be true for all these vertices that make up the back of the arrow, like that. And the same is true for the, the bottom underbelly of the arrow, this side of the arrow, in this orientation right here, if we could see the bottom side of the arrow, we'd see all the surface normals pointed straight down. Well, the same is true right here. Straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. And so when we take our light vector, any of these light vectors pointing at the light, which is roughly right here, the dot product between these two will pop out a cosine. If this is a normalized vector, I'll do my normalized version. The dot product there will pop out a cosine that's close to zero so we get a dark underbelly. So what do we need to do? We need to transform these surface normals, but we can't hit those surface normals with the exact same transformation matrix, the model to world transformation matrix, that we hit the vertex position with. And the reason that is, I get my camera pointed in the right direction, is because the transformation matrix has a translation in it, so I have to, I have to be very careful. Well, remember, if you Watch my game engine programming playlist. All transformations have to deal with the origin of the world that we're in. So even though I might have a surface normal straight up, or I could move that surface normal here, or surface normal here, surface normal here, surface normal here, although I can move that vector around 
all I want when I hit that vector with the transformation it's always with respect to the origin well let me move that vector right here roughly where our origin is right there that's our surface normal for the top of this arrow when I rotate this arrow into this position all I want to do is rotate the surface normal so that is pointed this way instead I don't want that surface normal getting any longer I don't want to skew it like that all I want to do is rotate it and if I do a translation a translation would most possibly likely skew it may make it longer may totally mess up my surface normal all I want to do is rotate that normal why would translation mess it up well if you think about it all these vertices in the scene down here let me fly over to the right and let me just draw some of those vertex vectors again for all the vertices I'm trying to choose colors that'll show up but here's the vertex here's the vertex 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 vert oops well vert ah <laughs> two vertex vertices no one vertex to the tip of the arrow and then of course there's the vertices at the bottom side of the arrow but there's all these vectors representing these vertice positions and when we do a transformation of this arrow from here to here that essentially transforms all these vectors. Let's pick on one. I'll pick on the one for this vertex right here, which corresponds to this vertex right there. So here's the origin of our world. Our position vector is like so. And when we do our translate and rotate and move this arrow up here, our position vector goes from that to going to that. Okay, we definitely changed that vector. A considerable amount because all transformation matrices all transformations on vectors apply with respect to the origin so this vector is a result of the transformation of this vector but this vector is considerably different than this vector well we don't want that same result to happen on our surface normals let's do the surface normal for that vertex I'll draw it right there when we do the transformation if I hit this normal with the transformation matrix that I hit this normal with well it's with respect to the origin so let me move that vector right here and we do a rotate we do a translate this normal is gonna do something totally screwy like that not a normal that we can use okay, what we want to do is take the surface normal and just rotate it 90 degrees we want to completely ignore the translation so that we get the proper normal out here and when we do our dot products then we'll get the cosine of the angle and that'll work well. So in the next video that's what we're going to do and concentrate on and see if we can get our lighting to work correctly no matter whether this arrow is translated to or how it's rotated.